everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Meadowlands Regional Chambers Tech Tips, presented by the MRC Tech Committee. Today, we're going to discuss how to set up a remote office and how working remotely can greatly increase your company's productivity. Why should I consider working remotely, you might ask? Businesses are faced with many challenges. Customers who are hard to get a hold of. Busy schedules may not allow for time spent going to meet in person. Having multiple groups involved in a complex selling solution can create issues getting all parties together. Working with customers, business partners and suppliers who have subsidiaries that are out of state or out of country to move opportunities forward. Business transactions that ask for or require changes to the scope of work or business proposals which can be addressed quickly and efficiently. Or how about if you or your staff cannot get to the office due to family issues or illness, clement weather, transportation problems, or simply their position requires them to be on the road to perform their daily tasks. Working remotely can solve these problems. Some of the benefits of working remotely are it mitigates the loss of productivity in all areas when an individual cannot get to the office. Provides more hiring options for personnel that may be restricted from taking a position due to challenges they face with travel, family, or geographic location. It mitigates the loss of opportunities by being more responsive and mobile. It decreases expenditures and increases productive time wasted in travel. It gives multiple groups involved in complex selling solutions the ease to meet and save on travel time and costs and efficiently allows communication with the benefit of visual content to be shared in real time and if adjustments need to be made they can be accomplished more quickly creating a faster and easier decision process. Working remotely helps business keep moving to meet today's competitive challenges and increases productivity. Here's what you need to know. So what is a remote office? Remote offices are a way to utilize technology to maintain productivity and efficiency when not in the office. It's how employees can access your company's technology and information. What are some things you can do remotely? You can attend a meeting, manage your business's accounts payable or accounts receivable, access the company's speed dial numbers, collaborate on a presentation or document, Stay in touch via email and phone. Update your calendar. Access files from the office or even view video feeds from the office cameras. So where do you start? The first step is to have internet service. This can be accomplished by bringing internet service into your home office from your cable or fiber provider. The company you choose typically provides either a modem or router that delivers the connection either hardwired or wirelessly known as Wi-Fi. If traveling, cellular service can be used for accessing the internet on a data plan or by accessing public Wi-Fi hotspots. So what tools will you need? At the minimum, a smartphone with a data plan. If you want a larger screen or a keyboard, add a tablet or laptop. To work from anywhere, be sure to provide Wi-Fi access to your devices via a hotspot. To take it to the next level, add cloud-based software that allows access from any location or device. Examples include web-based email, customer relationship management software, accounting software, and collaborative office suite software. To use your business's phone systems when working remotely, the phones need to be either a cloud-based system or a communication server with remote phone or soft phone capability. So, how do you access your computers? If your business uses proprietary software and you need to access the system while away from the office, you can still access your computer via virtual private network, or VPN, or even remote desktop protocol, or RDP. These are two common ways to access your business computers and servers remotely. One common question is how do we stay in touch? Today, there are so many options including video and voice conferencing, email, and cloud-based collaboration through Google Docs or Microsoft 365. It would be like you are right there in the office. 
There are several ways to keep in touch with the office. Most obvious is the cell phone. There are applications that can be loaded onto a smartphone that mimic the telephone on your desk. A cell phone on your computer with a headset. A SIP remote phone from an on-site communication server or a phone system hosted in the cloud. It is possible today to have one number that, when called, can reach you anywhere. The office, your car, your home, and the mall. There are VPN telephones that are physical telephone sets that you deploy at your remote locations and they will be on the same network as your main location. Video conferencing is becoming more the norm today than the exception. It is more readily available at a much more affordable cost. In some cases, using the free version makes sense for some businesses. Video conferencing can be used for remote collaboration. You can even access information without the need to connect to your computer. By utilizing cloud-based or hosted solutions for your software, information, and applications, you only need to connect to the internet to have complete access to anything you may need. If you want to know what's going on while you're away, on-site cameras are what you need. Today's technology allows you to access your place of business through your phone, tablet, or computer. There are devices that allow you to record what's going on now for viewing anytime you want. Hopefully today's tech tip provided you with some information that will help you and your company be as productive as possible in today's competitive and challenging environment. The MRC Tech Committee, whose members are experts in many areas of technology, is here to offer advice when you need it for your technology needs. Feel free to email us at techcommittee at meadowlands.org if you have a question or something you'd like to learn about. Visit our Tech Committee page on the Meadowlands website or simply like us on Facebook where we post technology tips and tricks to help you professionally and personally. Stay tuned for future videos and remember, the MRC Tech Committee's mission, making technology simple, one member at a time.